Fuck it. Nigeria, Lagos is not smiling. We just got dropped inside traffic in Lagos now. Hi, I'm Terry Apala. They took our phones. Two guys came out inside traffic with cutlass. They destroyed the car, took our phones. They took my phones. Terry Apala's PS phone. They took Terry Apala's phone too. Hello to you, all my subscribers and returning subscribers. So, in today's update, I'm um, going to talk about Nigerian uh, rap artist known as Terry Apala. He recounted how people stood by watching as he got robbed in a traffic in Lagos. He shared it uh, to his fans that he was a victim of armed robbery in a night in Lagos. In a video he posted on his page, singer Terry Apala was showing how his assailants broke the glass of his car to rob him and his friends. The Punch newspaper contacted him also. He had a chat with Punch newspaper. He narrated his ordeal in the hands of these uh, armed robbers. Terry Apala revealed that what shocked him the most was that people stood by while he was being robbed. Well, to me, uh, if you are the one that saw when the robbery incident was taking place, you wouldn't have done anything. I mean, seeing guys with cutlass, you, you don't have it, like, maybe you are just coming back from work, or you are just going somewhere that is so important to you. I mean, and suddenly you saw people robbing someone, maybe a celebrity like him. You offer little or no help, because you are not a soldier, you are not a policeman, you are not a, 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 a member of the... Uh, you know, security agent. So you could have done nothing as well. Though this uh, rapper is complaining that people that saw when he was being robbed did nothing, offered little or no help to his uh, robbery incident. He said, I was robbed last night at Alapere K2, and people were just looking. It happened some minutes past 9 pm. We are stuck in standstill traffic. As it was happening, people were just looking and they could do nothing. They could not do anything. I had to ask myself, what kind of country is this? Still shaking, he was still shaking by the experience. Terry Apollo noted that his assailants, who appeared to be in their thirties, with their cutlass, they had cutlasses with them. He also told Punch newspaper that he is glad they did not recognize him as a celebrity. If not, he might have been harmed. So those guys did not even recognize that he's a celebrity. If they had recognized, probably maybe they saw his flashy car or something. So they bumped into him and they started robbing. He said they weren't even holding guns, but cut glasses. They kept shouting in Yoruba that I should open the door. As I did not oblige them, they broke the glass of his car. As he also posted it in the video, they broke the glass of his car. That's so sad a sad sad incident according to him he said they were very ugly and he suspected they are in their thirties. they did not hurt the four of his guys that were inside the car they had to cooperate because of them because one of them instructed the other that if they did not cooperate they will hurt one of them and according to Terry Apala's uh, story he said they are, he's happy that they did not recognize him as a celebrity he also said that his car was the only one that was targeted by the armed robbers who carted the way his valuables worth 700,000 naira. He said they took virtually everything that was in the car. They took the phones of everyone in the car except his own because he quickly hid his own. They stole everyone's Apple wristwatches among other things. So in his estimate, the amount of what they stole from them is about 700,000 naira. They stole two iPhone 12, one iPhone SR, and he lose change of about 15,000 naira in the car, and his rich watch valued 120,000 naira. But to me, I want to, I'm glad that he's alive. This is something that happens not just in Lagos, in major cities in the country. Even in broad daylight, this is even night. This happened uh, at 9 p.m. Like, if you ask some people who have been traveling to Lagos and all that, their incidents. Some of those, some of those who are fallen victim, 
of this robbery incident in our nature our nature in if you get to our nature even in broad daylight not even in the night terry Apala's incident happened 9 p.m in the night some people have been robbed in broad daylight in our nature traffic they will rob you and they will collect all your valuables so this is how the country has turned into so when will nigeria be a safe place for celebrities not just celebrities for indigenous for you know poor citizens who are not armed who uh, you know are going about their businesses some people make withdrawals of huge amount of money to go and carry out their businesses and they got they, they got robbed and the government will do will not do much about it so he is one of Terry Apala is one of the you know few or one of the many Nigerians that have been robbed by these uh, robbers who specialize in robbing in major traffic mostly in Lagos in our nature and some other major cities in Nigeria so it's so sad and in his uh, na na uh, na narrative he said if they had recognized that is a celebrity, is someone that is so popular in the country. They would have harmed him and they would have taken more things from him. And these guys will stop at nothing in looting these celebrities' drive when they catch any of them. This is so sad. I'm praying that God will deliver this our country called Nigeria. Nigeria is finished. No place is safe. No place is safe in this country many many horrible things are happening and we don't even know when so all of this is going to stop so it's whenever you are going out anybody that is going out you are going to pray that god will just protect you god will keep you safe because it's terry apala yesterday it happened to him yesterday we don't know like i always say who will be a victim tomorrow so if you are going to any place maybe in one of these major cities and you 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 happen to you know you are going to stay in that place for a long time it's better and advisable that you return on time what if they had recognized that he's a celebrity they would have even killed him to take his car and all that so nigeria is not safe anywhere forget whosoever that will be promising you so that will be you know encouraging you that nigeria is safe this and that those things are you know cock and bull stories one of my, one of my friends will say is bullshit there is robbery incident everywhere and where, where if you are going anywhere on whatsoever thing you are doing that has to you know do with money that involves which amount of money you need to do it in the daytime because imagine uh he's is uh, according to uh, terry uh, uh apala's uh, estimate what uh, the this robber stole from him is what uh 700 000 so what if i mean he he's robbed of his cash real cash where are you going to get this money back if you are the one that that that, that, that fell a victim so be careful of whatsoever thing you are doing in this country wherever you are robbers are on the loose and they are doing terrible terrible things we have bandits we have boko haram we have unknown government now is traffic robbers be careful of traffic traffic robbers thank you